guys, so I'm here today from Combat Arms Palo. I'll be bringing you my first tutorial. These are going to be quick tutorials. So um, as I speak, I'm going to be running Sony Vegas 10. In this tutorial, I will be bringing you guys the TV simulator um, with a little pop effect. I've done it in my last uh, montage while well, quick edit. And I'll be bringing it to you today. So to start off, you want to have Sony Vegas. I have Sony Vegas Pro 10. You're also going to want the clip you're going to do the little TV simulator and pop effect to. So once Sony Vegas is open, you want to get your clip. I'll be grabbing this by bringing it in here. I'm going to be deleting the soundtrack because I don't need it. I'm going to find where I want to end the track. I'm going to end it right about there. Hit Ash to split and delete that. Now, what you want to do to make this pop in TV simulator effect is you want to split it to where you want to do the pop. I'm going to select here, so I'm going to hit S. You're going to want to stop where you want to stop this split, or the, sorry, this, um, the pop, and hit S again. And you want to zoom in a little by scrolling. To do the pan crop, you want to click on the track you've just selected to be the little pop effect. You want to right click properties. You want to go uncheck main maintain aspect ratio and uncheck or and check disable resample. You then want to go into the pan crop and you want to select where you want to start the point. I'm going to put a keyframe here, and this is just straight keyframing and a little bit of zooming in. It's actually kind of easy. And find where you want to put the next little crop. Here I'm going to zoom in, and this will give the little pop effect, and hit keyframe. I then want to go to the next keyframe, do go a little bit out, keyframe that. Next one, zoom out a little bit more, keyframe that, a little bit more, and default, keyframe that. As we exit this, you can now see does the little pop effect pop and it goes right into the kill pop it does a nice little pop effect for the kill so that's simple as that you just want to split get the track you want to make and you can simply just do a quick keyframe and pan crop there might be other ways to do this but this is actually the easiest way I know of you then want to go to video effects panel now that we have this layer here um, we can now see that this is just blank, no effect. That's where you want to add your TV simulator. So you want to go to video effects, and yes, everyone does get TV simulator with Sony Vegas. You want to click bad sync. You want to then bring it down to this track, or sorry, this clip. Not the track, the clip only, because then it's only on this certain part. Obviously, you want to be in this timeline of the clip to see a preview. And I'm going to be lowering the, the grill uh, because I don't want any of that um, interlacing. I don't want too many black bars, so I'm just going to make that a decent amount. Um, line sync, I want to make that a little bit up so it's not so off. Uh, vertical sync, I'm just going to keep it maybe about there. That's fine. Uh, lower this a little bit, and as we can see, you don't want to start this clip. And you can see, that's how you do it. Now, obviously you don't need the whole clip, so you can just start it there to make it uh, a little bit well, slower. Or you can go to the video effects and turn up the video vertical sync, I mean. And then if you go here, you watch it, it's going to be a lot slower. And then, yeah, you see how it went into that. So as you can see, you start the clip, a little bit of that. Then you go into it keep going I'm going frame by frame so you guys can see the full effect now I'm out now I'm zooming in popping out so that's slow motion but if you just do the whole clip at full speed pop now if you watch it live you have that pop and if you have sound that's gonna look really nice I also had a color correction and I also had some a uh, little bit of glitter and particle effect so that's basically it now if you just want to test render you can then click here and drag Go up to here, op options, or sorry, tools, preview and player. 
select here, OK. It's just going to render out that part, uh, that part, and I have a quick computer, so it renders quick. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, I'm going to actually drag this over a little bit. Um, I'm going to render as, just save it like that. I can then go to my uh, this, uh, new hard drive I just picked up and double click and watch it. Pop. So if we keep watching that, pop. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, that's how you do a simple TV simulator and pop effect. Now if you have synced music and you put a sound uh, effect of the gun to it, it'll be a lot better and it will turn out really nice. As you can see, I will play the, my little edit I've done so you guys can see how it how i made it let me just uh go a little bit quicker so you guys can see the actual effect so as you can see that's uh how i did it i also had a little bit of twixter but yeah hold on let me get a, a full video so you guys can see the pop so this is my common arms entry and then quick simulator and the quick pop so um, another thing, as you can see, I did go a little bit quicker. So to do that, you can go to the track and make sure uh, you have this one selected. Hold control, click, and drag over. This will then move all these tracks. Now, it'll only move them all together if this is selected up here, auto ripple. But I usually don't have it selected. Now, if you watch it, it'll go a lot quicker, pop. Because if you just click and drag, it just uh, deletes some of the, the clip. If you hit control and drag, it makes it really fast and it'll only go to a certain amount of speed. So that's basically how you do it, speed up. You can also, if you want to make it a little bit slower, you can click onto the actual track and you can drag it over and uh, it'll be slower. Uh, if you want to do that, click the auto ripple and drag over. And then when you do that, these also will move with it, these two tracks. And then if you watch it, it'll be a lot slower. As you can see now, it's really slow and it's just going to keep repeating and then the quick pop. So that's the simple TV simulator and pop effect. If you have any questions or want to know anything else, just let me know. Um, I'm thinking of also doing a Twitch tutorial, um, but we'll see. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe.